First time we click on start modelling, the units are set to feet and inches, and we don't want that. So if you click in the top corner on the three lines, we can start a new model in millimetres. We don't want to save the previous model, we haven't done anything. If you click on the instructor icon, SketchUp has a nice um, built-in help function. It will tell you what each tool does. So you can click on the tools as you go down through and you can see the function of each tool and how to use it. So we're going to create a model using some simple shapes. We're going to start by getting rid of our person here, so we can select them, and then either just press delete or right click and erase. All the drawing tools are down the left hand side of the screen. You can move the screen around using the bottom tool there, potato pan. You can be very accurate with measurements, but for our purposes today, we're just going to look at how we can create some simple blocks and simple shapes to make a simple model. We've got our basic block there and we've extruded it up. If we draw what's around the edges off, we can draw our little arc there, and then we can click on the path to follow that around. And we can follow that around the line that already exists, which is the line around the outside there, and it will extrude that curved edge all the way around the edge, and we can then do the same on the base. going to create our rounded edge around both edges there. Next I'm going to create a circle. I can draw on, the fa I can draw on a face now. So I'm going to create a circle on this face here. I'm going to create a little um, audio jack socket. If we click on the extrude button we can push that in so it creates a void in the existing shape. You can see that there. It's got that depth there. As I explained earlier, you can be much more precise with the measurements and the dimensions just by typing them into the bottom box there. Um, but for our purposes, we don't need to be right now. So I'm going to create a rectangle for our on-off button there. I'm going to use an arc to round off the corners. And then we're going to extrude that one out. I can then use the same process to create some details. Note it automatically finds the center of the circle once you've got that circle. And once we've got our details on there, we can apply some materials and some colours using the fill. So if we just select a simple colour for the majority of it, if we click on each face that you want that colour, we can zoom in and out using the mouse roller to see the thinner edges. You have to obviously have to see from underneath to get the edges you can't see from the top. There's also a bank of material finishes as well, so you can make it look like certain materials rather than just standard colours. Gonna give it maybe a glass. Pick 
appearance now. We can then edit elements of the model as well, even after we've done um, materials. And then we're just going to save what we've done in our Google Drive. 